Hi there, I just wanted to make this video as a kind of video evidence really because um, I was attacked last night at the bus station and uh, there's no video evidence to record my injuries so I'm kind of doing it for that reason but the, the other reason is that um, the other reason is that it's the third time now in like six months and I wanted to outline that if you're doing this kind of activism and, I, and now I don't believe that any of them are a coincidence if you are doing this kind of activism and I'm concentrating mainly on chemtrails then I think you are putting yourself out there um, there is a threat of being attacked um, either through your computer where they slow it down or just bosh your computer or um, physical attack with what happened last night. What happened last night was um, I was waiting for the bus, I was counting the money waiting for the bus home, I'd had one pint of beer and um, I had been uh, I had this feeling I was being followed anyway and when I got to the bus station the bus happened to turn up right at the right time and I'm ready with the uh, I'm ready with the change and this lad comes up to me, this young lad, he's only about 20 um, but he looked right off his head his eyes looked demonic, you know what I mean, he just looked right off his head on drugs or something or alcohol or both and so I didn't want to speak to him, when he said to me, are you getting on the bus mate? are you getting on the bus? and I just looked at him like that and like, ooh, you, you're right off your head, I, I'm not going to even speak to you, you know what I mean? and uh, I was, in the end I had to say to him, because he kept hanging around, there was nobody else waiting for the bus and I said get get on the bus mate, you know, just get on the bus and he went to knock, he knocked, tried to knock the money out of my hand so he touched me first, he tried to knock me money out of my hand, it was two or three pound in there and I had a bag with me and stuff and uh, so obviously when someone tries to knock the money out of your hand you say you know what the F are you doing, I said what, what the F are you doing, you know and he went absolutely apeshit then and he head butted me <clears throat> this is right by the bus bus stop right by the bus door <coughs> he went rah and sort of head butted me so I thought right well I'm not having that so um, he wasn't going to stop so I had to defend myself so I punched him in the face um, we then started rolling around on the bus station kind of forecourt right next to the bus lucky the bus didn't drive off and crush us both um, there was people standing around nobody really doing anything or trying to stop it you know? so it was a full on brawl right in the uh, on the car park you know um, I know for a fact I was kicked in the head twice um, my, n my nose is all swollen from just being headbutted I suppose and um, I had to literally pick him up and throw him against the bus and I slammed his, his head against the the bus um, and the weird thing was he was uh, my hair was down I've got quite long hair and <laughs> I'm just gonna get it cut today as well he pulled my hair like a big girl you know he pulled my hair and I could feel it literally feel it, he had a handful of it, I could feel it coming away from my scalp and um, so I've got quite a sore head today and then I felt this kind of um, crackling sensation at the back of my neck and I realised he was biting my neck he was holding on to my neck with his teeth anyway, and just biting it, so we, we rolled around, I think I kicked him a couple of times myself, punched him um, I think I need him in a balls or something like that um, and in the end I, I began to tire to be honest it was 11 o'clock at night 10 o'clock at night half past 10 at night and I was I had a bad back all day anyway and so I was beginning to tire and I thought well this guy could get the better of me here and he might have a knife or something he was right off his head so I walked away when I had the chance <clears throat> but um, I gave as best as I could I, I gave as good as he did and I had to defend myself really but um, my leg, I'm limping on it today I just want to show the injuries that's, that's that's where we obviously fell over or something that's that's for the police record I did. I don't normally phone the police but I don't want it to happen to anybody else so um, that's that's for the record uh, swollen, that's for the record there we go <laughs> um, I can't really show you the back of my neck but it's bitten the copper did see it himself he didn't break the skin apparently I've washed it off as much as I can 
cleaned it up. Um, oh, my leg there as well. There's my leg. It's got some, some marks on it there when I fell over. On the knee, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, that's quite painful. I'm sort of limping a bit today. <clears throat> and that's it really, I mean... If you, it's the third time now in, in two months, in three, in, it's the third time now in like six months. Second time was, um, yeah, the second time was some Scottish tramp, and I'd seen him a couple of weeks ago hassling people, I didn't want to speak to him, I was just sitting down having a pie. And, you know, I said, he said, oh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, hey. I said, I don't want to talk to you, mate, I don't want to talk to you. And... We started rolling around and I walked away, I walked away, and as I walked away, he kicked me in the leg, he wanted to start the fight, we come on, you get arrested, I get arrested, let's both get arrested, you come on, in the face, I walked away, and the first time was some squaddy that told me he wanted to bury me in the gardens over the road, you know, and this is randomly while I'm waiting for a subway in the queue, you know, so, provoking, they always, they never, I'm sure, if you're doing this kind of activism, there's somebody at the door. Um, so I just wanted to record that. If you're doing this kind of activism, you will be targeted. I'm absolutely convinced that I'm being targeted now. I'm not being paranoid, but you, that's what you can expect. So um, if you want to leave a few negative comments about what I do, bear in mind that um, this is what happens to people who are trying to get the truth out there. Thank you. Fuck the new world order.